Hi, I'm Liz Nedden. We're going to look at probability and we're going to look at some tree diagrams and there's a hockey example we'll look through. So here is our question. So there is going to be a ward given out and the hockey team have been chosen. So the award must be accepted by the captain or if the captain is absent then the vice captain. Okay. So we've also got some information below here that the captain will be present 95% of the time and the vice captain is present 93% of the time that the captain is present and 75% of the time when the captain is absent. Okay, so the two different scenarios, two pieces of information we've got. We've got info about the captain versus the vice captain and we've got information about whether they'll be present or absent. Those will be the two layers that we have in our tree diagram. So here are the two layers. So the first layer is about whether the captain is present or not. The second layer is whether the vice captain is present or not. So we want to now just put the information onto our tree. So we've first of all been told that the captain is present 95% of the time. So the captain being present, so that's this branch here, the captain being present, that is 95% of the time. So that is 0 0.95. And if he's present 95% of the time, then there's 5% of the time, or 0 0.05, that the captain is not present. So absent. Okay. That's the first piece of information dealt with. Then the next percentage we've got is this 93%. So it says the vice captain is present 93% of the time the captain is present. So of the time that the captain is present, the vice captain is present 93% of the time. So that 93 is going to go on that branch for the vice captain. So that means that um, if 93% of the time they're present, 7% of the time, or 0.07, they are absent. Okay, that's this piece of information dealt with. Now we've got our 75%. So 75% of the time when the captain is absent, the vice captain is present. So from the time when the captain is absent, the vice captain is present 75% of the time. So that 75% will go on this branch here, which means 25% of the time the vice captain would be absent if the captain is also absent. So now we've got that first part of the tree diagram, we want to now finish the second half. So we've got to look at our different combinations. So one combination is that the captain is present and the vice captain is present. So notice that word and I used, when we're going along the branches, we multiply. So I'm gonna say the, oh, wrong button. Probability of the captain being present and the vice captain being present is 0 0.95 times 0 0.93, which gives us a probability of 0 0.8835. Then the second combination, the vice captain is present, sorry, the captain is present and the vice captain is absent. So we're going to multiply along those two branches. So we've got probability of the captain present, but the vice captain is not present. And notice that little dash means not, so that's absent. And so multiplying the branches, 0 0.95 times 0 0.07 gives us a probability of 0. 0.0665. Third combination, the captain could be absent and the vice captain could be present. So I'm going to multiply those two branches. So we've got our probability of captain absent but vice captain present and that is 0.05 times 0.75 and that gives a probability of 0 0.0375.
last but not least, captain absent and the vice captain absent. So that's our last combination. So we're going to say the probability of the captain absent and vice captain absent is 0 0.05 times 0.25 which gives a probability of 0 0.0125. So there's our full table set out. Now that we have that set out we can actually go and um, make answer some questions now. So here's a question, our first one. Calculate the probability that both the captain and the vice captain are present. Okay, so we've got two criteria. We've got the captain being present and the vice captain being present. So we're going to look at the different combinations we've got. Now we're going to think about which of those meet one or the other or both of those criteria. Or well, in this case it has to be both. So the first one, that's the captain being present and the vice captain being present. That's fine. The second one, captain but no vice captain. Doesn't work. No captain but a vice, pres a vice captain. Doesn't work. Captain, no captain and no vice captain doesn't work. So we have to have both of them present. So that means we want the probability of the captain and the vice captain present, which we can just read off the table is 0 0.8835. Here's another question. Calculate the probability that the award will be presented in this assembly. So calculate the award, the probability that the award will be presented. So we need to think about that is the criteria and then we need to look at our different combinations and see which ones will work. So remember we were told at the beginning that the award must be accepted by the captain or the vice captain. So in the first one we have the captain and the vice captain. Therefore, yes, the award would be presented. The second one, the captain's there, but the vice captain's not. But it will still get presented because the captain's there. The third combination, the captain's not there, but the vice captain is. So the award would be presented. And the last one, the captain's not there and the vice captain's not there. So therefore, it would not be presented. So we need to know the probability of the award being presented is equal to the probability of the captain and the vice captain being there or remember or and probability means add the probability of the captain but not the vice captain or the cap not the captain but the vice captain so I'm going to add those together 0 0.8835 plus 0 0.0665 plus 0 0.0375 and that gives us a probability of 0 0.9875. Thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to visit my website for other resources and videos.